Hey, Homegirl Talk. Thanks so much for having me today. We're all busy running around. We've got phones and iPads and technology in our faces. I just think it's so important to unplug, to reset your family. I mean, it, you have to force everybody to, to be in one spot so that you can have good conversation and just be intentional about your relationship with your husband and your kids. And I think it's just a good reset so that you can take on the day-to-day -day a, lot, a lot more smoothly. Well, you know, what's funny is my husband, Tony Romo, he loves to travel in a big group, which sometimes it is hard to get big groups together. Um, so you just got to plan ahead of time. But when we travel, it's always a big group, which it makes it fun. We've got our parents. He likes to invite our parents, our in-laws, friends, sis, uh, aunts and uncles and cousins, which makes so much fun, uh, makes fun memories. But then it's finding a place that can, you know, support that big group and have the accommodations for such a big group, which is why I think it's important to find a place like Kalahari Resorts. It's like a cruise ship on land because they have the it's the largest indoor water park in America. They've got the space for us, but then there's so much to do for every different age group. And I have three little boys, all different ages, so the, the older boys can be on the water slides, and if the baby needs to go take a nap, I can take him to nap. If the grandparents want to do the lazy river, they can do the lazy river. I can sink to the spa. But then we can all reconvene back for dinner and kind of, you know, rediscuss the fun day that we had just had. So it's finding a place like that that I think is important to, to, that accommodates parents and kids. Because sometimes I think it's hard to decide where to go because it's either more kid-friendly or more geared towards adults. Well, what's great about Kalahari Resorts is that there's four locations, and so sometimes I think a lot of the expenses of vacations come in because of airfare. Airfare is so expensive, but because of what, there's a uh, Kalahari Resorts in Wisconsin, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and one coming soon to Texas, you can just throw your stuff in the car and go. And I feel like that cuts down a lot on cost. And I do think sometimes it's just easier to get on a uh, go on a vacation when you don't have to deal with the airports and the, and the tickets and um, and airlines. You know, so I, I, I think that's a huge step. Well, you know, what's funny is Tony, my husband, likes to play golf. So a lot of our trips this year have been around his golf tournaments, <laughs> which hopefully won't always be the case. Um, but we love going to Wisconsin. That's where my in-laws live, especially in the summer because Texas is so hot. Um, we get to, We like to go up north with them and get a break from the heat. Uh, we just got back a few weeks ago from Lake Tahoe. That was so nice because he played in a golf tournament out there. And then, of course, um, he grew up in Wisconsin, like I just said, going to the Wisconsin Dells. So we love the whole idea of the indoor water park ex experience. It takes us back, it takes him back to childhood, and we get to pass that tradition off to our kids. And there's a Kalahari Resort right in the Wisconsin Dells, which is, is so fun that it's so close to his hometown. Oh my word, that's a great question. You know, um, it teaches you that um, that it's not about you. <laughs> After that first kid, you know, you're, you're, it's not about you anymore. It's and it, obviously when you get married, but when you're having to um, take care of this little tiny thing that needs, there's no um, instruction manual that goes to it, it's not about you anymore. You're just lucky if you get breakfast that morning. So I think it, it teaches you humility, which we all need a dose of every now and then, and just uh, being a little bit more selfless. And so um, granted, I love my kids so much, but um, it is nice to have some breaks and uh, some vacations and things um, without them as well. When you have a resort like Kalahari Resorts where there it is an a one-stop shop there's really nowhere else to go I mean you have the arcades for the older kids you've got a spa spas at all of them and 
They have these new spa treatments um, with, I think it's called halotherapy with the salts. And so there, it's just something for everyone. And again, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's the truth. You've got to find places like that that can provide activities for everybody at every age. And, and sometimes it's just hard to find. Um, yes, Hawk and Sloan is a um, is a company that I started with my best friend. Um, it is a children's spray line, and each spray is a different uh, parenting hack to make parenting in the day to day just a little bit easier. They're primarily all essential oils, but me and my um, my best friend started the company, and we are in I, about 100 stores and boutiques over um, in the southern regions, and it, we're just chugging along. It's been a great business venture for us. Tony grew up going to the Wisconsin Dells, so the water parks, water parks and indoor water parks run deep in our blood. Kalahari is going to be um, having a ton of different activities and new things um, this weekend. They're going to have special deals and poolside DJs and a lot of special activities. So it's going to be a fun celebratory weekend. It's. It, the easiest way to do it is to talk about how it relates to us personally and with all of the ups and downs that we've gotten that everyone goes through on a day-to-day -day basis our faith like I said is or like you said is essential for those day-to-day -day challenges and trials um, keeping him center you know makes everything more um, significant and important in this journey of life for us and it keeps us um, uh, less self-centered <laughs> in our own lives and so um, yeah our faith is very important it, it impacts our day-to-day -day decisions it impacts the way we raise our family it impacts our marriage and so it, it trickles down into all of those um, avenues of our of our day-to-day Oh gosh, you know what's so fun is that his grandparents that um, are both from Mexico live very close to us and so we love having them over and having them speak Spanish to our kids and being immersed in um, the language and um, we go visit them in their house and, and of course his dad speaks fluent Spanish as well. But we, you know, we love to, family is a huge part of that Hispanic culture, and that's definitely something that we, um, we do in our family. We love gatherings, we love, we, we find that it's very, very important to have family over and have those relationships, which is, like I was saying earlier, we were constantly inviting our in-laws and our aunts and uncles and everyone over as, in gatherings and to keep that connection really close because it is something that we value and I know that he gets that from from his heritage because it that is something that that culture does so well is keeping uh, the family and that that tight-knit community together so I, we, we want our kids to have those same values as well you know uh, my advice is always this I'm just gonna do the best some days I feel like a good mom some days I don't feel like a good mom. Some days I feel like a good business owner. Some days I don't feel like a good business owner. I just think that it takes a village and, and you're going to need as many hands as you can to help you. But I don't think that every day I feel like a, the best mom. I don't feel every day like I feel like I'm the best uh, business owner. But, you know, you just do what you can every day. You try not to beat yourself up over it too badly. Yes, accept help. <laughs> um, I think accept help from your friends that have kids. You know, if you can carpool, if you can, if, you're, if your grandparent, if your parents live close, they, they want to help with the kids. That's so great. Our, my, my mom and dad live really close and my in-laws are so awesome. They, accepting extra hands and extra help is so key to doing it all or pretending to do it all. <laughs> and I just think that's really, really, really important, especially in, in our family it is. Yes, they can go to kalahariresorts.com. There's so many um, different ways to book your reservations. Again, they have locations in Wisconsin, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and coming soon to Texas. So go on the website and look at all the fun things to do. Um, 
you'll be booking your trip really soon once you see all the cool activities.